Hey, I'm Dalvin Thomas with the Minnesota Vikings. I'm here today at a dairy farm with dairy farmer Tyler over here. Uh, they're fifth and sixth generation dairy farmers and we out here on the farm trying to see where milk comes from. So pretty excited about it and uh, we're gonna take you around today and learn some things. I know I'm gonna learn a lot because it's my first time on a dairy farm, so I'm super excited. So Delvin, we're in the milking parlor. Mm -hmm. We milk 11 cows on each side oh, okay. at a time. It takes on average about six to eight minutes for the cow mm -hmm. to get milked. On this side, you can see that we're uh, getting the cows ready to get milked, so we clean them each. We put a foam on them, which allows them to become disinfected, uh -huh. as well as we uh, strip them out to make sure the milk is all of good quality, as well as, you know, there's no abnormalities. Uh -huh. It also helps stimulate the cow okay. to let her milk down. Okay. But if I turn it on and you can hear the air, you can actually stick your finger in there if you like. But all it, does is it, all it does is it flutters. Oh, okay. It just flutters yeah. in there, so. <laughs> So how many times a day do you milk, milk the cows? So we milk the cows three times a day. Okay. And like I mentioned before, it's only about six to eight minutes that the cow's in here on each side. Okay. So that, I mean, it only takes about half an hour of her day to milk oh, three okay. times a day. Gotcha, so no more manual milking like you're nope. saying movies and nope, stuff. No, 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 we're trying to get away from that. <laughs> Are these mats they're standing on right now? Yep, yep, they stand on mattresses to allow for comfort while they stand here and get milk as well as it just gives them enough traction too that there's no slipping or anything like that okay. throughout the whole farm. So they have like protective feet and stuff yep. while they're just sitting yep. there. Yep. Okay, yep. I got you. Because they're standing here, yep. So they're like standing on memory foam for us. Exactly. Yeah, just got like when we're standing here too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then when they finish up, we put on an iodine dip that helps seal up the teeth. Mm -hmm. So when they go back to the pen, there's no bacteria that happens to get up there. So how much milk would y'all produce in one day? Um, on average, uh, on average through our whole herd, we're about 90 pounds. Oh, okay. About 90 pounds, a little over 90 pounds. And for, that's for the summer too, when it gets, the cow, it drops a little bit just because of the heat and stuff like that. And the cows are, the cows are big athletes. I mean, they, they, they're 13 to 1500 pounds of that's crazy. weight that behind them, yep. You want to try to put one on? Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do it. So I'll do this one, you can do this one. Oh, I'll show Lord, you how to I got do this. one by myself. Yep. Okay, I'll do it first and then you do it. See, you just got to hit the green button, that uh -huh. allows it to start. You take it in. And all you do is just pop them on like that. Oh Lord, I'm nervous. Just nice and slow. <laughs> okay, hit the green button. So hit the green yep. button. Yep. And I'll go down. Drop yep. Down. Now just grab one. Yep. Go grab right to that one. front teeth. Right yep. Here. Yep. Ooh. This is way easier playing football. There you go. And we got it. Yep. I got a little milk on me, but we good. And now, he's, now you got to now you got to jump when you're done. <laughs> I come back in all the season to work. Yep, there you go. Yep. <laughs> all the milk drops right into these pipelines and they stagger just because the amount, the volume that goes through is we have to run. It's all one, but it's te technically two because it all flows. It flows to this tank right behind you here. Mm -hmm. And then it pumps it over and we'll go into the, the bulk tank room here. These are the bulk tanks. They hold 3,000 gallons a piece. Oh man. So we ship one semi-load a day. I mean, that's a lot of milk, huh? Yep, yep, yep. And then actually when the milk comes through, it uh, comes through right up above us here. Uh -huh. And it actually goes through a plate cooler and that runs the milk next to groundwater. So it naturally cools it from the cow's 101 degree temperature body. Okay. So it gets it down to ground temp. So about 50, 52, somewhere in there, depending on the warmth of the day. Mm -hmm. And then we have, then these bulk tanks have compressors on okay. them that allows them to cool it down to about 37 we average. Okay. Should be you no know, 37 degrees. So oh, man, that's crazy. pretty much, I mean, within an hour, you know, from the cow to here, it's the temperature it is when it gets to the grocery store. That's crazy. Yep. And you can just see all the technology it yep. takes to actually yep. do it. Like I can't imagine one little piece of going wrong. You got to find out where it is. Like, oh my it's, god. <laughs> it's, it's a bummer. I tell you yeah. that. <laughs> After it gets cooled down to the 37 degrees and gets taken out daily, mm -hmm. it goes. All of our milk goes to Kemp's fluid milk. Okay. Yep. Oh man. So it's all get all gets bottled in the grocery store within 24 hours of leaving the cow. Within 24 hours? Yep. That's a quick turnaround. <laughs> yep. Another cool thing about the milk is once it gets to the grocery store, there's never been a human hand that touches it. From the moment it leaves the cow till it gets to the bulk tank till it gets to the creamery and then the grocery store, it's never come in contact with any human hands. That's crazy. Oh yep. my god. So yep. like the first time a human actually makes contact with it. They're, eat, they're eating it with a bowl of cereal or they're drinking it. Is you, yep, <laughs> it's exactly. crazy. She's working on it. She'll have it out, it looks like. Is a baby? Mm -hmm. Jenna, you got it. There's one cabin right now. Yeah, her front feet are out right now. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, There's I can see it right there, yeah. So this is the barn that we built. Uh-huh. And 
We built it for the sole reason of cow comfort and it also, like, just the winters here in Minnesota get so cold in the summer. It, it just allows us to have more consistency mm -hmm. the whole time we're with the cows. Yeah. We, we never had anything frozen in here last year. Okay. When it was 32 below, when it was, 32 below it was 28 degrees in there. Oh, man. So the cows have a full buffet 24 7. Mm -hmm. There's always feed in front of them, as well as when we scrape, we scrape them. Mm -hmm. Move the manure, so like over here, that's about as much manure as there. And I mean, yeah. we try to keep, we like our cows clean too. That's a big thing. We want them, clean, want them clean. So if you look in there where the beds are, uh -huh. that is uh, manure solids. Mm -hmm. So we actually scrape the manure, it goes up to a big press and it presses it and it pushes it out. And then we use that pressed manure to bed the cows. Oh, okay. So that's a big thing for us when we built the barn and when we renovated and did that in 2004, 12-ish, we went to the manure solids. It was a huge sustainability thing. Okay. We're reusing what we already make. Yep. And it was a good source of bedding as well as we're not adding any, anything else to the environment. It's just the cow manure yeah. is what we're using. How that many was huge cows, for us. How many cows can you fit in here at one time? In this barn, there's 420 cows. Oh, okay. Yep. And they have a little shower over here, Yep, like. yep, so when it gets hot, when it gets over, so a cow starts feeling heat stress at 70 degrees. Okay. So anytime it gets over 70 degrees, the cow's got some heat stress. Oh man, I never knew that. So for us, the fans are full bore at 70 degrees and then the sprinklers kick on at about 74 degrees. Oh, okay. Yep. And then like right now when it gets above 90, they run constant. It's this one, then like they're all four and then they just start over again, start over again. Mm -hmm. Because we, we soak them with cold water and then move air over top of them and it creates a cooling effect. Oh yeah, I can imagine. It's yep. like, sounds yep. like a training camp. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Or like when you're done working out and you take a cold shower or something, just cool your body yep. down. There's a lot of thought and care goes into this. You can yep. definitely tell. Like even like the little sprinkler system and mm -hmm. then you got the fans blowing the air over their back and stuff. Like, yep, yeah. Y'all really care about y'all animals. How much does a cow eat? <laughs> That's the real question. Like, Okay. But they're at about 110 pounds a day. 85 to 100 gallons of water, too. Dang, that's crazy. On top of that, yep. They all have ear tags, so that's essentially their identification. Uh-huh. But if you look at their at the left tag, like their right side, but our left, there's a little button a part of all that. Uh-huh. Right up on top, it's an RFID chip. Oh, okay. And that's and that's what runs the parlor. That's what tells us everything about that. Oh, this so, that we saw in the uh, yep, little yep, scanner. Yep, thing. yep. Okay, so yeah. th that is what that number attaches to the cow mm -hmm. in the parlor, and then tells us everything about her. Yeah. So that's, that's yeah, yep. That's, yep. So each cow essentially has a little computer chip on her. That's a lot of technology right there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Who's all on your team, and who does like the biggest roles in different things? Like who yep. does what? It is a family farm. It's uh, my mom and dad, and then my three brothers were all. Mm -hmm. Direct, if not daily related, we're all directly related in in, in the farm. Uh, uh -huh. I take care of all the cow health. The cows and the employees for the cows are a big thing mm -hmm. in my part. Mm -hmm. um, I have a younger brother that he's big into the crops. We farm all of our own land. Oh, okay. We make all of our own feed. Oh, and he, uh, he 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 doesn't want to stand and look at the cows, so he likes sitting in tractors. Yeah. So that's fine. That that works out well. My dad takes care of all the feeding. He he does all the cow feeding as well as uh. He does the, he raises the young stock on his farm, the heifers. Oh, okay. That'll be coming back here. Um, my mom feeds all the babies. Uh -huh. She's in charge of the nursery. She, she's in charge of everything. But uh, everything, she's in yeah, she runs nursery. everything. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and then we have, uh, we have 10 full-time employees uh -huh. that milk cows and help us out. And then three to four part-time guys that help out on weekends or during the week if they have extra time for okay, us. Okay, gotcha. Yep. So she's four years old. She, uh, my little cousin's sure, so I think you're fine. Uh, <laughs> she's had two calves and she's pregnant with her third calf. Oh, okay. Big. Yeah. <laughs> Any tips or anything? Or? Just hold it just like he is and she's pretty oh, respect. She's, she oh, she's pretty respectable, so. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous now. Yeah, Ooh. yep, there you go. Oh, Lord. Where's she going? Where's she going? Where's she going? Like if I was told my kids when she starts running, I go, hey, <laughs> I'm with you. So where are we going? Just, how do you walk? Just walk or? Yep, just give her a tug. She'll walk. I don't think she likes it. Okay. Oh, now she's running. How do we stop is the question. Yes. <laughs> We're at the, I don't know how to You're turn around. You're doing good. You're doing I don't know good. how to turn around and stuff, so I'll let y'all take that one. It's crazy how big a cow is, like. 
You don't know until you actually walk up on it, right? Yeah, baby. Mom's licking the baby up, yeah? Yep. You wanna go up there and see it? Yeah, we can go see it. Yeah. On average, we have, let's just say two and a half babies a day. Oh, okay. That kind of kind of the number that comes out. So every day we have about two babies. Oh, okay. And then there's always a couple days that we have three. The most we've ever had was 17 in a day. 17? 17 babies born in oh one day. Oh my yep. God, it was a it, busy day. To say that was a busy day is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a bad day. I could have met y'all was running around like crazy that yeah, day. Yeah, and oh I think it God. happened in December too. All the calves have their individual hosts. My mom always asks the kindergartners when a group of kindergartners, you know, your teammates, mm -hmm. when you're done working with them, do you want to go home and all sleep in the same bed? Definitely not. Exactly, so they all have their own bed, <laughs> they have their own dinner plates, they have their own cups, utensils, you know, that's a big thing for us, you know. Yeah. It breaks it out. It helps keep that uh, biosecurity as well. It just keeps each calf individual. Uh-huh. So this little girl was born on the 27th of June. So she's already four weeks old. Mm-hmm. Um, gaining like crazy. She probably weighs about 180 pounds. Oh, man. They're born at anywhere between 75 and 95 pounds. Yeah, they come out Depending here. on the cow size, too, yeah. you know. So how many calves do I got over here? We have anywhere between uh, 80 and 85 calves on milk at any given time. Oh, okay. Yep, so they, uh, they're on milk here up until they're about 10 weeks old. Uh -huh. And then they slowly get weaned off into just water and a grain mix. Okay. A grain, a protein gotcha. mix, yep. Oh, here she comes. Oh, jumped up. Here, there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> they probably will suck on your finger. That 35, the next one might. She looks like she's ready to suck on your finger. I'm scared of that part. I need these bad boys to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, hey. Oh man. Uh, since they're newly born, how many teeth do they have or do they have sharp teeth or anything? Baby calves have very sharp teeth because they because they haven't ground them down at all on eating anything. Mm -hmm. But they are cows are only born with bottom teeth. They have oh. no top teeth. Oh, okay. Cows never have any top teeth. They do have some back molars, but otherwise nothing on the top. So you really can never get bitten by them. Uh-huh. Because they can't clamp down, but they do have some sharp little teeth underneath their tongues. Yeah, I can imagine. Yep. How long is it before they can be milked or how big do they have to be? Um, at about two years old, they can be milked. Okay. Yep, and then they, they have to have a baby before they can be milked. Mm -hmm. And that's what allows us to milk them. But uh, our cows, on average, um, have their first baby at about two years old. Okay. Yep, every year, maybe every 13 months, then they have another baby. Gotcha. Hey, Delvin, I'm Blake Gotti. Hey, Delvin, nice to meet you. I'm uh, the father of Tyler, and this is our farm where the mm -hmm. feed gets put up. That pile and way in the back that's the really tall one, that's uh -huh. corn silage. Okay. That's made out of the corn grown in the fields, we chop it, and we make, put it into that pile. It looks that, like a lot, but I'm gonna, I'm, I feel like you're gonna tell me that's not a lot. It's not a lot. Oh, man. We have it all the way up to here, mm -hmm. and all the way over to here. Oh my this God. This is you all gone. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is all silage. Oh my God. And this huh. is the size of a football field. How long does it take to do that? Uh, 10 days. 10 days? We have a nutritionist and he makes up a ration for us. It's mm -hmm. a balanced ration. Mm -hmm. So in this mix right here is for tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And that's got corn, mm -hmm. that's got proteins, it's got vitamins, all the minerals, everything it needs for a balanced diet. And okay. then we add the haylage, uh -huh. which is alfalfa. Alfalfa hay, okay. And then there's corn silage that gets put into that machine right there. Mm -hmm. And it mixes it, it all, it all up. up and then it goes to the cows. Okay. So every bite it takes, it's a balanced nutrition. Oh man, Balanced crazy. bite. So this is corn salad. Dang, that's crazy. And it's so moist though. It is. It, it holds the moisture right in there. That's the crazy part. Yeah. Uh, it don't yeah. dry out anything. Yeah. Hey, I want to say thank you for showing me the tour of the dairy farm today because it's amazing how much work y'all actually put in on this farm. Like y'all performing to peak performance every single day. So it's like every day is a Sunday for y'all. So y'all coming out here on game day every day. And um, yeah, just, I'm still so excited right now just to see like, we saw a calf being born. We, <laughs> we saw the, the big fan barn. That's what I'm going to call it. Like it looks yep. almost like a rocket ship about to take off. Yep. And then uh, y'all told me how the feed gets done with all the 400 uh, acres of corn. Yep. It's it gets crazy. Yep. Like take 10 days to do it. I want to see a picture when it's done, like when it's full. But um, I appreciate y'all. I want to thank y'all for showing me around. I learned a lot today. And um, yeah, y'all keep grinding because y'all grind a lot harder than I do. I tell you that. <laughs> so I appreciate it once again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Get six sacks this year or better. Oh, yeah. That's a, I'm looking, shooting for it. <laughs> shooting for it.